Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Johnny Hill. I go by Johnny Rose on Instagram, Twitter, and on YouTube. And this video is about what I think is probably one of the best budget-friendly monitors for the Xbox Series S. Now, I know there are some amazing monitor options for PC gaming, Xbox, and PlayStation gaming. But for myself, I have the Xbox Series S, so my needs aren't as high as somebody who would have a high-end gaming PC or an Xbox Series X or a PlayStation 5. So when I had this setup in mind, I wanted to use the space that I had in this office and just create a very kind of small, minimalistic Xbox setup with a nice looking monitor that wasn't too big, but also was large enough to enjoy the experience and not have to sit too close to the screen. So I had a few boxes that I needed to tick. I didn't want it to be more than $350, which definitely limited my options, especially considering the fact that I wanted it to be 2K resolution, support 120 Hertz refresh rate, and also have some reasonably good color. And then to top it off, I didn't want to be anything smaller really than 27 inches. So yes, my options are very limited and I'm really kind of not doing myself any favors by limiting my budget to $350. However, as I mentioned, I don't game too much these days. It's just kind of to wind down now and then and just to relax and maybe play with some friends. So I really didn't want to invest too much in this monitor, but I wanted to get the most out of my money. So I did a lot of research and I found on Best Buy this monitor that you saw at the beginning made by Element Electronics. Now, I'd never heard of Element Electronics before, but I was very intrigued because the specifications were rather good. Now, you can't always trust specifications, and when I read the reviews, there was definitely some mixed opinions. And I think it came down to some quality control issues and then some kind of shipping issues, which is rather funny how people will review a product badly because shipping had messed up or damaged it. But that's beside the point. This is the Element 27-inch IPS 1 millisecond 165Hz gaming monitor. Now it overclocks to 165Hz, natively it supports 144Hz. And for me that's great because the Xbox Series S only goes to 2K resolution and only supports 120Hz. So I figured I would buy it, it fit my budget at $320 and it ticked all the boxes in terms of specification. And needless to say, I've been thoroughly impressed with its performance. In terms of ports, it has two 2.0 HDMI ports, one 1.4 display port, USB port, along with a 3.5mm audio jack. So you can plug external speakers if you want. However, that being said, the built-in speakers aren't actually that bad. The sound quality in this room, you can probably hear it right now, and I do apologize, but it does echo a little bit. So when I'm playing video games and the speakers, you know, they're, they're a little bit tinny, as you would expect from monitor speakers, so it does kind of echo and reverb in this room. I am working on that. I have some sound deadening panels kind of scattered around as I'm waiting for them to expand before I put them on the walls. But I think when I kind of improve the sound quality in this room, those speakers won't be too bad. And like I said, I wanted to keep it rather minimalistic, so I probably won't plug in any external speakers, but I might pick up some wireless headphones down the line. Now, this monitor is very sleek looking. It's very basic. The stand is very simple, but also very sturdy. A couple of things that I don't like is the, I'm not, I'm not too fussed about the Element branding on the front. You'd expect the branding of the company to be on the front of the monitor, but I don't like how they've marked the keys underneath. Usually these have no markings whatsoever, which is a little bit of a pain because you're having to kind of guess which button does what. But the font that they used is rather loud. It kind of ruins the aesthetic of this monitor for me. So I might find a way to try and cover that up. I don't really know how I can do that in a non-tacky way. I'm probably just gonna have to suck it up, but that's definitely something that bothered me a little bit because I didn't really notice it on the photographs when I looked at this monitor online. So after playing a few games, I really have no complaints. The refresh rate is very good. The 2K resolution is absolutely stunning. And I even plugged it into my MacBook Pro. Now, this is by no means an editing monitor. However, when I compared it against the Pro XDR display on my MacBook Pro, I was very surprised about how good the colors actually looked. I opened up Lightroom and looked at some of my photographs. And when I compared them side by side, I was pleasantly surprised, particularly for $320, this is actually rather accurate. I don't know what the percent specification is in terms of sRGB, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was somewhere around 98% at least. If you are considering kind of an all-in-one monitor under a certain budget, this might be one to definitely take into consideration. Also, speaking of the MacBook Pro, let's just talk about the performance of World of Warcraft really quickly. I'm getting 120 frames per second in a major city, and that's really fantastic for this M1 Pro processor. Just a little sideline there, but these processors are incredible and definitely shouldn't be slept on if you're interested in gaming on a Mac. All right, so a few days later, and this monitor has really exceeded my expectations. For $320, I really don't think you can do anything better the colors look phenomenal, the resolution is incredible, and the refresh rate is just exactly what I was looking for. So if you're looking for a budget-friendly monitor for the Xbox Series S or even a gaming PC, hell, even if you just want a game on 2K and you have a budget of under $350, 
then this is one to definitely consider. Now, I've only been able to find it at Best Buy, so if you're in the UK, you might not be able to find this monitor. I don't know if like Curry's or PC World stock it, but I haven't been able to find it on Amazon. So I think because it's a rather obscure brand, it might be like an affiliate brand with Best Buy, but that's where I got it from, and it's currently $320 there. So if you're interested, definitely go and check it out. And if you do have any questions about the monitor, always feel free to message me in the comments down below or on Instagram at Johnny Rome's. And if you haven't already, hit the like button and the subscribe button and the bell notification so you know when the next video will drop. And as always, thanks for tuning in and until next time, I'll see you later.